Hello, I'm Martin Sewell, the Police and Crime Commissioner for Gloucestershire. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my role is to oversee the police here in the county, to hold the police to, to account as well, and to also to give you a voice in all things relating to policing in Gloucestershire. Um, as we move through this situation, I wanted to give you some reassurance. Um, the organisation is exceed exceedingly well prepared for whatever is coming down the line. They're exceedingly well organised, and I know the Chief Tots were very well now, and the organisation is exceedingly well led. I think that should be a reassurance to the people of Gloucestershire. So a big part of the Chief Constable's job, and mine to a lesser extent, is to make sure you are fully informed on all things relating to policing in Gloucestershire as we move through this challenging time. I have to say, over the past few days, I've been very, very impressed to see the way the community are beginning to support each other during this difficult period of time. And you may or may not be aware that the model of policing in Gloucestershire has always been neighbourhood policing. We call it the foundations upon what we build all the other policing services. And in conversations with the Chief Constable this week, when people say, will that continue, won't it? We're very much of the view that neighbourhood policing remains the foundation of policing in Gloucestershire. Another function of the Police and Crime Commission is to set the priorities for policing here in Gloucestershire. There are six such priorities, and one is particularly important at the moment. It's called odour but not overlooked. And it's important, as we enter a difficult period, that the elderly in this county are well cared for and well looked after. It's crucially important that they don't fear crime at this time. They're not subject to crime. I've asked the Chief Constable and his team to make sure that they're protected, particularly against people who would raise the fear of crime in their neighbourhoods or would potentially try to scam them during their time of isolation at home. I think many of you will be aware that the role of the voluntary and community sector is something we've always championed here in the Office of the Police and Crime Commissioner. They are our best partners. What they contribute to society is, is really untold. It's an amazing organisation. Organisations, even like Neighbourhood Watch, one of the largest, are special constabulary. And in many, many organisations we are privileged to work with and support on a week-by-week -week basis. Now, we identify that they also will be facing a very difficult time right now. Most of those, many of those organisations are very much based around getting people together, building communities together, often people who are, are vulnerable and isolated. That's what they've been doing. And as we move into a period of, I think it's called social distancing, we're asking them, and my office is getting in contact with them, to say how do we understand the impact of that new policy that has to happen and how can we m minimise the impact of it. So I want the voluntary and community sector to know that we are fully behind them, we are their friend, we want to see them survive in the short, medium and longer term. We want to work with them to make sure that they can deliver what they do best with the communities that they know. So the voluntary and community sector will be a big focus of the team that works with me. They're all working from home now, apart from me, and I'll be going home shortly. They're going to be made incredibly eff effective, but they will be in contact with the voluntary and community sector to let you know what's happening and offer you our full support, not just now, but for the longer term as well.